Greetings, cyber dogs and citizens of the Interbubs. This is Ren Diggity Dog coming at you in another episode of Minecraft Survival from the Hermitcraft server. In the previous episode, we were setting up a brand new magma block shop. And in this episode, my friends, we are going to be doing everything in our power to finally finish off our glass shop and open that sucker up for business. It is going to be a jam-packed episode. Hope you guys have a tasty-ass beverage, a crunchy-ass snack. Sit back and relax. Let's play some Minecraft freaking survival, baby. Oh man, the magma block shop. Look at this place. It's pretty awesome, right? And uh, I know that a ton of you guys out there have been wondering about the profits. You have been wondering if we have been selling any magma blocks out of this giant cube of molten lava. Well, guess what, my cyber diggity dogs? We have been selling magma cubes something fierce. And we're going to have a look at the profits today before we get kicked off with today's episode. I also want to head over to the log shop and the garden center emporium to check on our profits. So before we head over to the glass shop, my friends, let's have a looky looky how many diamonds we have managed to make out of this little shop that we put together. Let's crank open this chest. Oh, baby, look at that. That is awesome. 30 diamonds in the wazoo. Uh, thank you, hermits, for spending your diamonds here. 35 diamonds and I think that is it so in a week we have made 35 diamonds oh scratch that we have made way more than 35 diamonds my goodness someone has been on a freaking buying spree here this is fantastic look at this guys a stack and a smidge of diamonds made in the first week of the magma block shop being open and yes as you guys can see I have restocked this place full of magma blocks which is fantastic and actually what we could do is restock this chest over here right because this one sort of get, got bought out quite badly there we go man that is freaking sweet well let me drop off my diamonds <laughs> i've already have t basically two stacks of diamonds in my ender chest this is from uh, speed mining in the gravel pit speed mine so things are looking good for the red diggity dog diamond wise my friends but you know what i need to tell you something i need to share with you a face palm um, how can I put this uh, mildly? I told you guys about this on the last live stream, but just before I went to DreamHack last weekend in Sweden, I was busy trying to stock this magma block shop. I, after I finished recording the episode, I went back to the nether and yeah, you guessed it, I freaking died in lava again. And I lost all my jazz, so I've had to remake everything. Pixcalibur the 8th, but Booster 4, Sir Lancelot the 4th. <laughs> Logolas Reborn now for the third time and uh, the Expo of Flaming Decimation this time around. I am determined to not die again for a while my friends. I am determined. I have put Fire Protection 4 and Fire Protection 4 on my diamond leggings and my diamond booties. I've put Blast Protection on my hat and really guys I just I can't take it man. I can't take dying anymore. I've died in my strip mine multiple times fallen in lava. I've died in the nether over and over again losing all of my jails. And I just cannot afford to die anymore. So hopefully I'll be able to keep it together for the next couple of weeks. Let's head into the log shop and check on profits, shall we? We haven't been in here for a while. Let's have a look. One diamond for Acacia. Not, not a lot of love there for um, the orange block. Wow, quite a few diamonds over here, which is fantastic. Ah, thank you, Hermits, for your patronage. Ooh, look at this. Almost up to a stack of diamonds from the log shop. Very nice. No jungle sold, no birch sold. Okay, so 58 diamonds from the log shop. Not bad at all. Not bad at all. It's been a couple of weeks, though, since we've checked on profits. And um, I must say <laughs> that sales have been dwindling over the last couple of weeks. Let's have a look in our garden center emporium. No red sand sold, unfortunately. No gravel sold. No dirt sold. One freaking glass sold. So that's not great either, is it? Yeah. Oh, man, it's time to start branching out. It's time to start selling something new. 
uh, to try and increase our profits once again. And guess what, guys? Our glass shop is coming on as something uh, fierce. Oh, baby! I can't wait to show you guys the amazing work that I have done in the glass shop. I think Exumavoid is down there right now, borrowing a little bit of glass from me. Of course, we've got a deal together, so he can use as much glass as he wants. Oh, hi there. <laughs> I caught you, you bastard. <laughs> That's okay, though. Exumavoid is working on a new shop over here, I think, or he's working on something. I'm not sure exactly what's going on outside here. But take a looky-looky at the improvements that I have made to the glass shop, guys. Prepare your butts, because this place is looking so sweet. Damn! So I was hanging out on the server last night with Iskal85 after spending an amazing five days with him in Sweden at DreamHack. And I'll tell you guys a little bit about that in today's episode. And we were just hanging out playing Minecraft together on the server and he helped me come up with a really awesome idea. I've been trying to figure out exactly what to do with the floor of the first floor of our glass shop. And Iskal said, make it into glass so everybody can see down into the bottom. And look at this! Isn't this amazing? I love it, man. I think it looks so fantastic and it gives our customers the chance to see that there are more items for sale underneath here on the second floor. And it is looking so sweet. So check it out. I've also started working on a, um, a corridor or a staircase, I suppose, that will take our customers down into the second floor of our glass shop. And yeah, looking pretty cool, right? Now, the idea of this whole thing is, from a marketing perspective, is that I want my customers to spend as much time in the shop as possible. Up here on the first floor, we've got all the janky glass, right? We've got the glass that people don't really want, the glass that isn't that expensive. Uh, and downstairs is where we have all the good stuff. Downstairs is we, where we have the most desirable glass, like the cyan and the black and so on, right? And I want my customers to go on a little bit of a journey down this corridor into the second floor. And when they get here, I want them to feel like, well, you know what? We've come all of this way. I might as well just buy the glass that I need and spend all the diamonds that I've got. And that is the plan. Hopefully, they'll drop all of their diamonds into um, some of the products down here. I do want to do some swaps of products, though. A few of you guys were mentioning in the comments that orange should probably not be on the second floor because orange is super easy to make. It's just with red and yellow makes orange. And I think we should swap orange with blue up there because, of course, blue stained glass is made out of lapis. And lapis is quite difficult to get, actually. So yeah, I'm going to have to do a little bit of swappage over there. Now, I have a lot of work to do in today's episode, including finishing off this corridor, which we're going to do, and finishing off the roof of our first um, floor here. And I've got to tell you guys, I've got some really, really, really sweet ideas for this roof. It's going to blow you guys away, so do not go anywhere. However, before we get there, I want to show you something real cool. I know that a lot of you guys have been face palming because you've been saying, Randog, how in the name of all that is jazzy are you going to get down into your glass factory you absolute freaking noob well guess what guys <laughs> Iskal has installed for us a secret um, elevator thingy <laughs> that's the, the technical term for it a sweet ass elevator thingy and check it out right over here if I throw an item into this stair block have a look at what happens I'll buy them look at this Bam! <laughs> we go down into the glass factory. How awesome is that? And then, of course, to get back up again, we're going to hit this button and it's going to push us up. It's going to send us all the way up to the top again. Check it out. Boop! <laughs> Exima Void has busted us. He has seen it. Oh, look at this. And uh, he's actually, you know, he's a part of the um, of the business, so he can know the secret entrance. Take a look, Exuma. This is what you do, man. You throw it into the thing and you go down into the glass factory. And, of course, I need to make this look uh, a little bit better. And this is all Iskal's work, guys. I can't tell you exactly how this ele escalator elevator thingy works. I wish I could. Uh, but <laughs> it's pretty sweet. Check Exuma's found his way. <laughs> Secrets. <laughs> This girl made it, made it for me. <laughs> Absolutely awesome. So guys, we've got a ton of stuff to do in today's episode. Let me sort out my inventory and we're going to start getting crafting, baby. All right, welcome back, my cyber diggity dogs, to our glass shop in the Brown Shopping District. 
And first things first, my friends, we need to finish off this staircase corridor from our first floor to our second floor. And let me tell you something, my friends, this part of the project is actually a lot more important than you may think. Let me try and explain myself over here by using a real life example. Have you guys ever gone into a shop in real life that has like a hospital neon lighting in it? You know, they use those super bright neon lights to try and light up the whole place. Maybe it's a really, really big shop. Usually it is a really big, the really big shops that do this, you know, those sort of warehouse shops. Uh, it's the kind of lighting that gives you an instant headache as you walk into the shop. You know what I'm talking about, right? You know, you know, you know what I'm talking about. I hate those types of shops so so much man they give me such a headache they make me feel like my eyes are gonna bleed out of my freaking skull well whenever I go into a shop like that I am instantly instantly turned away from buying anything from that shop the only thing that I want to do is get out of the shop as fast as humanly possible you guys know what I'm talking about right oh man those places are painful well <laughs> in exactly the same way I want my customers to not feel like that when they come into my shop I want them to feel happy I want them to feel ready to spend some bling blings here in the, the stained glass shop and to do that I want to give them a very pleasant little journey through the staircase corridor. So here's what I'm thinking, right? We use a lot of quartz because it's a nice pale color. We use a bunch of this light gray stained glass pane stuff and the chiseled quartz at the back there, of course, to give the customer a feeling of walking through some sort of, I don't know, majestic corridor so that when they get to this position over here, they are going to be ready to spend some diamonds. Now, I have another cool plan uh, on the way, right? I'm thinking about the customer journey over here. I've just popped over um, to the end emporium to buy myself another ender chest. I want to stick an ender chest for my customers right over here. Okay, and here's the thinking. <laughs> here's the thinking. I want my customers um, to get to the second floor over here. Oh no, that's not going to work, is it? Oh, dang it, I've done derped. I don't think I can actually pick this up. I don't have silk touch right now. Oh uh, man, I'm going to have to fix that off camera. But check it out, right? I want my customers to come down the corridor like this and see the end of chest and be like, you know what? I'm ready to spend some diamonds. I'm ready to buy myself some stained glass and to crank open their ender chest to get their diamonds or to buy some glass in bulk, right? To buy glass in bulk from us and then <laughs> to come and spend or, or to come and put that glass in their ender chest over here. Um, so I think that works out pretty nice. Actually, you know what? This might work out just fine because here's what I'm thinking, right? We have a little bit of a space here to put up some signs and maybe what we can do is put up some message boards over here, right? Maybe we'll change this to a, to a sea biscuit also. By the way, these are sea biscuits officially. <laughs> so we can put up some signs here explaining how the, um, how the glass shop works or something like that or perhaps something to get our customers to spend a little bit more bling blings down here. But yeah, as you guys can see, man, I've got a butt ton of work to do on this corridor to make it look really good. The second part of this corridor corridor build is going to happen on the outside because of course this corridor is now protruding into the outside of our glass shop and we're going to have to try and figure out a way to fix this too. We'll probably have to uh, do it in the same style as the outside of our shop, right? Using spruce and uh, andesite and, and stone bricks and so on. So quite a lot of work to do, my friends. Let me get cracking. I will bring you back in a second when there's something more interesting to look at. Kapalow! Well, Exuma Void is hard at work next to us today, guys. Working on some Parthage and a new plot, it seems. Very, very excited to see what is going to be popping up over here, man. It's going to be freaking sweet. Cyber dogs, I got to tell you, man, I am in the zone this morning, baby. Oh, man, I am just cranking out my tasks like nobody's freaking business and loving every single moment of it. Woke up super early this morning to start playing some Minecraft, and I have just been on a freaking tear getting everything done. Does this ever happen to you guys in Minecraft where your brain just seems to be functioning at full freaking blast? Everything is coming together you don't struggle coming up with ideas you don't struggle coming up with where blocks should be placed or any of that stuff that is what's happening to me this morning man i am loving it and as you guys can see things are starting to look real real snazzy around here just currently installing a new little feature into the corridor between the first and the second floor in our glass shop and yeah it is looking real real nice where is my light light gray stained glass pane 
hardest thing to say in this game for shell, man. But let's get all of this down here. And what I'm trying to do here, guys, is just to add a few little points of interest, I suppose, as BWO would say, um, as you are coming down the staircase. I want you to feel like you are in an exceptionally expensive build. And so far, we have achieved that. I think this must be one of the most expensive shops in the Brown Shopping District from a, a resource perspective, right? I mean, we've used a bunch of quartz, a bunch of gold, a bunch of sea biscuits. I mean, we've used all sorts of materials to create this build. And I just want that to continue. I want the customer to feel like they've come into a real special place. And check it out. I had a really good idea while I was grinding, right? In this little corner over here, I want to add something really special, okay? Uh, throughout our shop, of course, we have put these golden enchanted armor stands that I think look really awesome. And they add to the, the sort of exclusivity, the premier feeling of our shop. And I'm thinking maybe we should stick an enchanted set of diamond armor in this position. So as the customer comes down this really cool staircase, they see this golden armor over here and they know that this shop means a business, man. That they are here to spend diamonds. That this isn't your, your average thrift store where you can just purchase cheap ass glass. This is artisan handcrafted glass mined from the butthole of the earth, smelted in a, 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 a sanitary factory and created for the hermits on the server. And that's the feeling that I want my hermits to have when they come into my shop. So yeah, things are coming on a treat, man. I'm loving it. Look at this place. Look at friggin' sweet, right? After way too much fiddling and refiddling, my friends, I think I've finally arrived on a staircase design that I'm happy with. Take a look at this, man. Looking real good, isn't it? It's looking a little bit white for my taste. And I'm wondering if there's anything we can do to sort of enhance the look of this place. I was thinking about maybe using some gold or something like that. If you guys have any ideas, let me know in the comment section below. Uh, I know that quite a few of you guys have suggested using gold. And actually, now that I think about it, we maybe could do like a golden carpet or something like that. That could be pretty cool, right? So like in these sections, we could have a, a golden carpet here using gold blocks. I don't know, maybe we'll try that out. But <laughs> before we get to that, my friends, I want to work on the outside. Exumavoid is hard at work here on his plot. And I just want to make sure that our two buildings are not going to collide too badly. This, of course, is going to be uh, a section of our build that sort of comes out into this area here. And this is, of course, uh, going to be covering up our staircase, right? And it's going to be built in the same design as the walls of our glass shop. So I thought what we'd do is spend a couple of minutes just laying this out and seeing if we can actually get this done uh, without interfering with Exumavoid avoids build too much that's one of the tricky things about playing on a on a multiplayer minecraft server right guys you always have to be aware of where you're building what you are building into you don't want to be messing up anybody's builds you don't want to be messing with anyone's designs um, and so on it's kind of tricky so um yeah let's just, let's just try this out and see how far we get uh, it might it might actually mean that we might have to move everything a little bit this way but i think we should be okay so if we are running our walls on the outside like this uh, we could connect it up to whatever this is. I'm not sure exactly what Exumavoid is working on over here. But I think we might be all right. So check it out, right? That, that should kind of be our walls. And if we have our walls like this, um, hmm, this is going to be kind of tricky. What we might have to do is shift everything forward by one, I think. Let's have a look. If we had the, the roof of our corridor over here, so one block closer uh, in this position like this, is that going to be a little bit too much space or, or too little space for our customers? Are they going to bang their head, head as they come down here? No, I think that's all right, actually. I think this is going to be just fine. What we could do is even uh, turn this into upside down stairs, right? And that's going to make it even easier for our customers to go down. So there we go. That actually works quite well. So I think what I'm going to do is shift everything uh, by one block in this direction. And then I'll bring you guys back and we'll see if we've managed to actually uh, <laughs> squeeze our build into where Exumavoid 
Void's build is over here. I'll be back with you in a second. Check it him. He's like, what is going on here, man? This is not right. <laughs> I'll be back with you in a second, my friends. Oh, baby, I am firing on all cylinders today, my friends. I have made this work. I have squeezed our corridor in here without having to mess up Exuma's build. And check it out, man. It is looking great, right? We can get down into the corridor just fine. And we're going to be able to make this little protrusion of our building look absolutely awesome. We're going to keep to the same style that we've got all the way around here. And we're going to easily be able to do that uh, because of the way that I've built this. Check it out, man. Looking absolutely sweet. We'll be able to get everything that we need in here. No problemo. And uh, this little thing is going to look really cool. I think it's going to look really cool from the inside also when you're sort of running towards it. So check it out, man. We're going to have to add all of the walls over here. And we'll add our stone walls here too, like a so. And then the glass is going to go in the center like this. And that looks absolutely awesome, right? Let's just make sure that we are following the design 100%. This block needs to be andesite. <laughs> so yeah, lots and lots of detail work to get this thing finished. But man, it is going to be super sweet when it's done. Check it out. This needs to be andesite too. Although Though we can't make this andesite, can we? Well, we, we can try. Let's give it a go. Those were actually stairs that were helping to keep uh, the height of our corridor a little bit lower. But let's have a look. Is that a problem? Uh, I don't think that is a problem. I think for the sake of OCD and for the sake of symmetry, right, we're going to keep it andesite to try and keep it the same um, as all of the other windows that we've got in the shop. So, yeah, coming together a treat, baby. You know what, my friends? I was actually really worried about this little corridor thing. I was concerned that it was going to absolutely mess up our beautiful glass shop building but you know what I think it's actually made it better it's taken it from a pretty square shop on this side of things and made it a little bit more interesting it's added some more depth it's added a bunch more angles and whatnot into the build and I think it's looking absolutely fantastic man I really really love it and also now that Exuma Void has removed that message board over here that was over here that is absolutely freaking awesome check even Exuma Void likes it man that is fantastic I think our shop is looking absolutely beautiful from a distance um, and it's going to give our customers a real incentive to come in here right say for example if you're in the elytra shop or near the elytra shop it's looking real cool over there isn't it oh baby i'm loving it so i just have to finish off these arches on all sides here and then we should be done with this corridor and we can start cracking on with the roof man oh this build is going so well man i'm so pleased my friends i have got a little bit of an apology to make to you right now and it looks like i've once again done derped I seem to do this all the time with you guys, and I do apologize, man. I really don't mean to do it. I just get carried away playing Minecraft. So at the beginning of this episode, I promised you guys that we would work on the roof of our glass shop, but man, I just don't think I'm going to have enough time in today's episode to do so. I didn't think that our corridor project today was going to take as long as it did, but inevitably, as always happens with me in Minecraft, I get carried away with the build and I spend way too long on the finer details trying to make it look absolutely perfect and I'm going to have to call the episode in a couple of minutes um, and we shall work on the roof and the grand opening of our glass shop in the next episode. I have been working on getting some light into the shop. I noticed that uh, over the last couple of hours when I've been outside and it's been nighttime, there has not been a lot of light here in the shop and it is looking a little bit gloomy, not looking very inviting especially on the top story over here. So what I've done is I've added some sea biscuits to the top of each of the glass pillars over here. And if we go outside now and look back at it, the shop should be looking a lot brighter on the inside now, I think. Yeah, look at that. The shop does look like it is bright and open. Look at that, man. Looking beautiful, isn't it? Mm -hmm. I'm loving it, baby. Looking so sweet. Now, there's one more thing that I want to do in today's episode before I call it, and that is installing that diamond enchanted armor stand over here. I want to see what that is going to look like. It's one of those tasks that is playing on my mind right now. I just want to see what it looks like, right? So I've got me anvil over here and let's get a bunch of diamonds. I mean, let's face it, we are not poor at the moment. We have got more than enough diamonds to spend on making our glass shop look as awesome as possible, right? So let's make for ourselves a full set of uh, diamond armor. So let's make ourselves a chest plate, a hat. Um, <laughs> what else do we need? Some leggings. There we go. And we need some booties also. So let's get those in the belly. Get out of my freaking inventory, rotten flesh. What do you think you're doing there, man? Disgusting ass, rotten, moldy flesh. Uh, we're going to need some lapis for this though, aren't we? Um, 
Yeah, uh, what in the jazz am I doing? We need an enchanting table. You know, guys, sometimes I wonder what is wrong with my brain. I mean, honestly, I was... I was trying to enchant diamond gear in an anvil. I mean, am I really that bad at Minecraft? It seems so. Anyway, I'm going to pop over to Skull's base and use his enchanting facility instead. Because, uh, seriously, my brain is not functioning at 100% today for some reason. I've been playing Minecraft for a couple hours now, so that's probably why. But anyway, guys, let's get this diamond gear enchanted. We're just going to put a level 1 enchant on each of these items. There we go. Thank you, Skull, for the use of your beautiful enchanting facility over here. And we'll do the bootsies. There we go. Nice. And we're just enchanting them together give them a beautiful glow right that's the only reason that we're doing it <sighs> let's head back to the brown shopping district and get this diamond gear placed all right derpage over face palms have been applied and we're back in the glass shop guys and i can get this beautiful diamond armor onto this armor stand and man i think it's gonna look super snazzy man check it this let's get it on there baby oh yes doesn't that look awesome i love it you know i was a little bit worried about the whiteness of this corridor and i think that little bit of armor does actually help to fix it up a bit we also have a bit of a problem over here if i could actually get to my pickaxe at any point in time and we need to switch this out for something else over here don't we yeah that's looking super janktastic uh maybe what we can do is put some sea biscuits in there that'll yeah there we go that looks pretty cool so check it out man as we come down here we see this super expensive diamond armor and maybe what we could do over time is replace all of these golden armor stands with diamond armor stands right to increase the awesomeness of our shop um, as we go but that looks fantastic i love it i absolutely love it so guys we're pretty much one episode away from the grand opening of our glass shop i hope you guys have enjoyed this episode if you have you hit that like button you hear me and if you haven't subscribed yet well you hit that subscribe button baby we are about to make a bunch of diamonds on the hermitcraft server and hopefully the hermits will be able to use all of this stained glass to produce some beautiful things here on the server also anyway thank you so much for watching my friends i'm gonna go and pluck this arrow out of my neck and go for a walk outside i've been playing minecraft all morning and i have loved it thank you guys so much for watching my my name has been Ren Diggity Dog coming at you from the Hermitcraft server, and we will see you all in the next episode.